Hello, I'm Victor, and for my 200th video, I thought I would show you guys how I make my junkyard reviews. Keep in mind, there are no big secrets here. Nothing I do is that complicated. But uh, if you're new to videos or reviewing, it might have some useful tips. Step 1. Choose a film or subject. It's no secret that I'm not too picky about what I review, but I try to focus on mediocre or forgettable films. That makes trying to choose a movie rather difficult, as you tend not to remember forgettable films. Yeah, I'm no mental giant. Anyway, I find that walking through a video store or library helps me think of ideas. Step 2. Rewatch the film. Even if I think I remember exactly how a film goes, I make a point of rewatching it. Partly for quality, partly because my brain tends to rearrange movies in the order things should have happened, rather than the way they did. As I watch the movie, I either take notes or I just start on... Step 3. Writing the script. Better how-to videos would probably go into more detail than I'm about to. As you may have seen, I tend to start with an attention grabber if I can think of a good one, introduce the film, give background information if applicable, recap the film making observations and jokes, review the themes or major complaints, then give overall feelings on the film and conclude. My post-credit clip is almost always thought of later in the process, and thus not a part of the script. I read back each line as I go to make sure it sounds good when spoken. I highlight the stuff I speak on camera, making sure I keep it short. More on that later. Step 4. Make a list of visuals. On a separate sheet, usually just on loose leaf, I write down a list of every image I need to find or make. One column for title cards, photoshopped images, images I need to Google, video or sound clips, etc. The rest of the page lists still images I need from the movie itself. Usually I have the exact scene in my head when I write, so I know what images I want. It's tedious, but in the end it saves time. Now at this point in the video, I realized that I had called this next one, Step 4 again, misnumbering everything after it. My options at this point were to kill everyone on Earth, thus preventing anyone from seeing my mistake, re-recording the entire thing, which would have caused me to kill everyone on Earth in my rage, or just recording everything after this point and hoping you didn't notice a sudden change in audio. Be thankful for my natural lack of aggression. Step 5. Get the visuals. Title cards on Paint, Photoshopped images on Photoshop, movie posters on Google. I get the video clips from either the DVD or, for shorter, random clips by using Zamzar to grab stuff off YouTube. Just FYI, I don't grab original YouTuber content. I only grab stuff that itself is from uh, some original source. I get the images off DVDs using VLC Media Player, which is downloadable for free online. I go through the list and check off the images as I find them. Step 6. Record the audio. I can read quite smoothly most of the time, but when I want to record, I go all mush-mouthed and tongue-tied. So what you hear in the reviews is often edited pretty extensively. It helps to read a few paragraphs out loud once or twice before reading that section, I find. Oh, and keep hydrated. It helps avoid those <coughs> noises that you end up hearing when you talk. Um, you may have never noticed it before, and now you will never be able to stop noticing. Sorry! Step 7. Record video segments. I suck at this. I can barely remember one simple sentence at a time, so I try to avoid making the video segments too long. I suck at this. I can rarely even remember a single line of dialogue, so I try to... I suck at this. I try to avoid... I suck at this. I can barely remember... Since this room has a couple of windows, I try to film at night so I can control the light. If I need any visual effect, here's where I map them out and get all the necessary shots. Steps 5 through 7 are all interchangeable, by the way. I do them in whatever order is most convenient for me. I also like to put all the relevant files into one folder so that I can get at them easier later. Step 8. Compiling. I use the relatively primitive Windows Movie Maker at this point. I just gather all the relevant files and get to work. I clip out the individual video segments I need and make sure I give each clip a fraction of a second of silence at the end. Otherwise, not giving yourself space between the video and audio parts sounds a bit awkward. See what I mean? Since I already edited the audio down to what I need in Audacity, making a silent space between video interludes for the aforementioned reasons, I just cut the audio into sections. Then I lay down the title card, first video segment, and first audio segment. Movie Maker doesn't allow for audio without pictures, so I need to fill in all the audio sections before adding the next video. I cut up the audio into individual thoughts, wherever I need to change pictures, and then add the pictures on top. 
This makes it easier to work precisely and makes going back to fix mistakes a lot less complicated. And the rest of the review is the same process. I try to save often and I always keep an extra browser window open uh, just because I know I'm going to forget something. Step 9. Publish. I name the file whatever I plan to name the video, set it for the best quality, and let it go. Step 10. Upload it to YouTube. Take the file label off the title, add a description, add tags, check it over once, and done. I keep the film's IMDB page open here so I can quickly add any relevant tags. Also, I make a point of checking my preview pic after the video is uploaded, as it always either depicts me with my mouth hanging awkwardly open or the most boring frame from the movie. I find that alcohol numbs the pain. And those are my 10 steps for making a video review. I hope you enjoyed this look at my favorite hobby, and I hope you enjoyed the other 199 videos I've released. I would like to once again thank my subscribers for all their support and insight, and my other friends on YouTube for all the good times. Well, this has been Victor with uh, my 200th video. Thanks for watching and have a good day.